David Cassidy, the teen and preteen idol who starred in the 1970s sitcom The Partridge Family and sold millions of records as the musical group's lead singer, died Tuesday at age 67. Cassidy, who announced earlier this year that he had been diagnosed with dementia, died surrounded by his family, a family statement released by publicist Joanne Geffen said. No further details were immediately available, but Geffen said on Saturday that Cassidy was in a Fort Lauderdale, Florida, hospital suffering from organ failure. David died surrounded by those he loved, with joy in his heart and free from the pain that had gripped him for so long, the statement said. Scroll down for video. David Cassidy, the teen and preteen idol who starred in the 1970s sitcom The Partridge Family and sold millions of records as the musical group's lead singer, died Tuesday at age 67. Thank you for the abundance and support you have shown him these many years. The Partridge Family aired Flat Rome 1970-74 and was a fictional variation of the 60s performers The Cowsills intended at first as a vehicle for Shirley Jones, the Oscar-winning actress and Cassidy's stepmother. Jones played Shirley Partridge, a widow with five children with whom she forms a popular act that travels on a psychedelic bus. The cast also featured Cassidy as eldest son and family heartthrob Keith Partridge, Susan Day, later of La Law fame, as sibling Laurie Partridge and Danny Bojus as sibling Danny Partridge. It was an era for singing families, the Osmonds, the Jacksons. The Partridge family never cracked the top 10 in TV ratings, but the recordings under their name, mostly featuring Cassidy, Jones and Session players, produced real-life musical hits and made Cassidy a real-life musical superstar. The Partridge's best-known song, I Think I Love You, spent three weeks on top of the Billboard chart at a time when other hit singles included James Taylor's Fire and Rain and Smokey Robinson and the Miracles The Tears of a Clown. The group also reached the top ten with I'll Meet You Halfway and Doesn't Somebody Who Want To Be Wanted and Cassidy had a solo hit with Cherish. In two years, David Cassidy has swept hurricane-like into the prepubescent lives of millions of American girls, Rolling Stone magazine noted in 1972. leaving. Six and a half million long playing albums and singles, 44 television programs, David Cassidy lunchboxes, David Cassidy bubblegum, David Cassidy coloring books and David Cassidy pens, not to mention several millions of teen magazines, wall stickers, love beads, posters and photo albums. Cassidy's appeal faded after the show went off the air, although he continued to tour, record and act over the next 40 years. His albums including Romance and the awkwardly titled Didn't You Used to Be. The 67-year-old Partridge family star and singer was rushed to hospital in Florida three days ago and his condition is said to be grim. I am very sad to hear about David Cassidy, tweeted Beach Boys legend Brian Wilson. Because his stardom was launched from a TV show much like The Monkees, many overlooked just how hugely popular David Cassidy was as a singer in the early 70s. MSNBC Morning Joe host Joe Scarborough tweeted. So sad to hear of the passing of David Cassidy, Harry Connick Jr. tweeted.